30. 25. Status check. Go Atlas. Go Centaur. 20. 15. This is Atlas Mission Control at T-10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Atlas Engine Ignition, 0, Please. and liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket carrying DMSP F-18 with the United States Air Force. This marks the first Atlas V West Coast launch for the United States Air Force. You'll now be hearing the voice of Rob Gannon providing launch vehicle ascent data throughout the flight. Operating level on the engine. Everything is operating normally. Continuing an open loop PU control as expected. We are now 2.3 miles in altitude, 1.4 nautical miles downrange, traveling at almost 1,000 miles per hour. And closed loop control has been started on booster PU. Engine continues to operate 100% thrust as expected. Mach 1. Vehicle is supersonic. Approaching max Q. Engine continuing to operate normally. And we are throttled down to 95% right on time. We are now 8.5 nautical miles in altitude, 3.1 nautical miles downrange, traveling at 1,300 miles per hour. And vehicle parameters continue to look good. Seeing normal flight control disturbances. Engines operating as expected, 95%. Coming up on 130 seconds into the flight, everything looking good. And the vehicle now weighs one half of its liftoff weight and continues to operate normally. Coming up on firing power valves to pressurize the center reaction control system. And valves have gone off. System pressurizing as expected. Everything is looking good. Next mark event we're looking for is throttling down to 92%. Coming up in 15 seconds. And everything is looking good. This vehicle is celebrating the 50th anniversary of Atlas launches on Vandenberg Air Force Base, and we have throttled down to 92%, right as expected. Approaching four, a little over 4 Gs in acceleration. We are 50 nautical miles in altitude, 69 nautical miles downrange, traveling at 6,400 miles per hour. Everything continues to look good. We are now less than a quarter of the weight at liftoff, starting our 5G throttle segment. Everything is expected there. And Boost Space Jilldown has been in operation right on time, coming up on main engine cutoff. And we have cutoff. Everything looking good there. We have stage separation. Good extensiometers. We have pre-start on locks and fuel. Coming up on first part, ignition, and full thrust. Main engine is up and running normally. Everything looking good. Coming up on fairing jettison. 
and both brake wires indicate a successful jettison of the fairing. Everything looking good so far. Start transient in the RL10. Perfectly normal. Everything looking good there. We have gone to fixed angles on PU. Engine operating parameters look good. We are seeing the expected activity on the hydrazine system to condition the thrusters for Centaur operation. Loop temperatures increasing as expected. Engine has continued to operate normally. This is Atlas Mission Control at L+. Plus. We are now Five minutes, the 10 seconds into the flight, and uh, our and flight is progressing as burn. planned. We we'll are uh, continuing uh, with the center. mark events. We're now in the first burn of the Centaur upper stage. Our uh, first stage performed as planned. The Atlas booster uh, performed as, ex uh, as planned and uh, has separated from the vehicle. Uh, after that separation, it was followed quickly by the... Uh, we have uh, first burn, main engine start number one for the Centaur system, vehicle, impaled fairing jettison, and we're now in a uh, uh, extended uh, first burn, 10 minutes, 57 uh, seconds. Uh, we've got uh, uh, over, uh, over nine minutes uh, remaining of this first burn, which will be followed then by a very short coast phase and coast and spin up, two minutes, 49 seconds, followed by a space vehicle separation. So right now we are at six minutes three seconds into the flight and the flight is continuing as planned the uh... this burn will continue until centaur main engine cutoff number one which will occur at uh... mission elapsed time of fifteen minutes twenty seconds and our mission will be complete today at eighteen minutes and nine seconds with space vehicle separation so again flight is continuing as planned And just over a month ago, the Atlas team and Vandenberg Air Force Base uh, celebrated a very significant and important milestone. September 9th marked the 50th anniversary of the first Atlas launch from Vandenberg. The historic launch of this Atlas 12D demonstrated America's first operational capable intercontinental ballistic missile, or ICBM. The Atlas ICBM was designed to carry a 1,500-pound thermonuclear warhead to a target 5,500 nautical miles downrange. By the time it became operational, Atlas had demonstrated a range of 9,000 miles. Today's launch marks another important milestone, the 600th Atlas launch. On June 11, 1957, Atlas 4A lifted off from Launch Complex 14 at Cape Canaveral. Standing 82.5 feet tall and 10 feet wide, the Atlas was the largest missile the free world had ever seen. Since that first launch, Atlas has gone on to achieve some of our nation's most significant and important accomplishments in space. John Glenn made America's first trip to orbit aboard an Atlas rocket. Mariner 2, the world's first successful interplanetary spacecraft, began its journey on an Atlas and it was an atlas that sent the first U.S. probe to soft land on the moon. Today's Atlas V, the new generation of Atlas launch vehicles, is continuing the Atlas legacy of supporting our nation's most important space goals. Launching commercial, NASA science and exploration and DOD missions since its inaugural launch in 2002, today's Atlas continues to provide mission success one launch at a time.